What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Uh, book is entitled Lessons from a Non-Custodial Father at Amazon, Kindle, and Create Space. A link will be in the description box below as usual. This video is entitled Self-Made Patriarchal Mindset. It's for the cats out here who they didn't really get help to think like a patriarch. And they were more so shunned. Or, or left to their own vices or devices when, when that came about. And I understand that. I, I've been down that road where, you know, you don't, you, you're young, and what winds up happening is you're a boy, so you, you, you think like a boy, you, you, you know, you, you, you process information like a young man, right? And what winds up happening is if you're surrounded by a lot in a matriarchal setting, um, it, if you're around the wrong matriarchal setting, you're you're vilified for thinking like a man, and you know you're not re you're not rewarded or or um, you know guided into getting better at it. You're you're more so marginalized and, and hope that you don't pick these things up. And here's the problem. Uh, now you have to figure it out on your own. You know, kids go through, the, the young boys go through that young phase where they think being a man is being uh, the most dominant male on the block or, you know, or, or in a team setting. And you don't necessarily know how to actually lead or work with people at that juncture because you know, you thought dominating was it, but dominating people doesn't mean you will win, you know, because you're going to need other people. And if you need people to respect you, uh, in, in some ways, sometimes you need people to fear you, but you need people to uh, have enough love for you that they're, they're willing to follow your lead and you, when you lead by example. And for kids, that's a, that's a hard thing to do. So, and nobody, a lot of times people don't walk you through the process of, you know, it's all a process. It's a growing process. You're not going to have it all at once. And, you know, <clears throat> the, the, when you're a young man and you're, you're thinking like a man, and, but you, you're raised in a matriarchal setting, then there, there's this tension with other men who are older and who may be more more so authority figures, because you're not accustomed to the to the discipline, order, and structure of things, you know, and you look at that as an, a direct threat or or it's an insult or you know what do you mean I'm good but I'm not good enough? Like who are you? You know, you don't you don't you don't see that. Um, these people who are hard on you are actually hard on you because they want you to succeed. You look at it as they're hard on you because they're haters. And that's not the case. You well, know, one of the weird things about it is, you know, when you start taking on a, a, a patriarchal mindset and it starts working for you, even the people who told you you were wrong, they start to come around because they're like, oh, wait, did, you winning. Because... One of the things about a, a patriarchal mindset is it's a it's a long term it's a process it's a long term process so it's not impulsive so people can't understand the process because it's no immediate return an immediate result and once you get once you're a young man and you start to realize oh, okay I put in this work for this amount of time I'm not gonna see the result of my hard work. Immediately, I might see it six months down the line, a year down the line, two years down the line. And for some people, some people are late bloomers, so they 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 um they they reap the benefits even later than that, right? So that's one of the things. So you you kind of in that mix where you're on your own because people want immediate results, and those immediate results are not gonna come from from uh, just being around. Just doing whatever you want to do, whenever you want to do, right? 
So that's another problem. You know, the joke is killing me, boy. Is it you and yours? And that's too long. Come back home. I'm going to get some leather jeans. Uh, Not the ones Kim wear, though. Uh, anyway, the other thing it, that, that, that happens along the way is, you know, now you, you're realizing it opens your mind up if you if you're in any type of competition, a, a competitive sentence, you realize, okay, I may be the big dog on this yard, but now I gotta realize I gotta get their big dogs everywhere. I'm I'm just in this space. Who's outside of this space? And then you start thinking about, okay, being the best where I'm at is good, but now I have to realize I don't know who's out there who's who's working harder, working smarter, being improving every day and night, and who, and who can potentially be better than me. You get what I'm saying? So now, it, it, it's, a, it's a race against time, but of your own drive and ambition. And, you know, people might think you're crazy because they can't see your competition because they're not really competitive like that anyways. You know, a lot of times, if when you when you have a self-made patriarchal mindset, uh, you realize these things. Which you whatever you slipping at is gonna cost you at some point. Other people, they don't see it until it actually hits them. They don't believe shit till shit happens. But you can see because you've already been there. Because a lot of young, a lot of young men believe that you know. Don't believe shit till shit happens, and then it happens, and, and then they have other men in their lives who who just like I told you this could possibly happen, like, but you didn't under, you didn't listen to me, you didn't want to take this into consideration, you was just so busy, nah, it ain't gonna never happen to me, but then it happens, and and you can you can rewind life back to those moments that some, that you were warned that you know you're slipping in this area and it could cost you, so now you take that that lashing and, and you keep it as a memory right and then you realize you know every mistake isn't bad if you learn from it it's only you're only bad if you never learn from your mistakes and you keep repeating the same thing then that's a that's not a mistake that's a habit and that's who you are as a character that's a character flaw now because and, and, and because we have more of a matriarchal community. When you start thinking like this, and the older you get from from you know adolescence to, to being a young adult, the more you the, the more you get into that patriarchal energy, the less a lot of the community is going to help you or do anything for you, unless you're like an athlete, you know, unless you're an athlete and, and they can and they thinking dollar signs can come from from um, riding your coattails. Other than that, you're going to be on your own. And then athletes who were really left on their own because they didn't think dollar signs would come from them. And they wind up just being late bloomers. And the people say, you remember, I was always there for you. You know, that type of stuff. Um, then there, there's the um, there's the thing about, how can I say this? Um... You're gonna make mistakes from lack of knowledge, just just sheer lack of knowledge. Because what's gonna wind up happening is you're not gonna, you know, other other men in the world have, you know, patri uh, come from patriarchal communities and have men in their lives who are patriarchs who think like patriarchs. And the problem is gonna be the things you're gonna be behind those men. You know, there's things that. That you're not going to know about life, competition, business, nuance, uh, situational ways to go. You know, just just ways different communities operate, you know, etiquette and all kinds of other stuff that are really going to, you know, going to hurt you. So ultimately, you're going to be a late bloomer as far as being a patriarchal man. You know, other people might be, you know, you would think, you know, I guess 
you 21 to 25 ish would be normal I guess uh, 18 to 25 ish depending on how good the person was raised that, that's why we talk about adulthood right but s some of us guys are gonna be there you might get there at 25 and up you know 25 to 30 32 I don't know but you know like oh and it, it, it affects everything you do you know because even now the things we talk about you know at some point we never fathomed these things years ago we just, it just never came across our minds and that's an issue that's very much so an issue and you know people are going to expect more from you and here's the irony before I go the, pe the same people who who might ostracize you because of your thinking are going to be the same people decade, decade and a half, two decades later that's going to expect the most from you and need you the most because everything that they marginalize you for is the very things that they need now for their lives to be functional because impulsive, undisciplined lifestyles crash and burn. And um, and you have to you have to fight yourself against being uh, impulsive and um, and undisciplined too. I'm gonna leave it here, you know. So yeah, cause I I said a lot. I know that. So I so we out. Peace. <laughs>